hello guys welcome to today's tutorial today i'll be showing us how we can implement route protection in angular this will be done using the can activate interface that decides if your route can be activated or not it returns a boolean so in my previous video i created a phone number authentication page which you can see on the browser right now so the flow involves the process of entering a phone number then you generate an input code which once you enter you get navigated to the dashboard if you provide the correct code so for now anyone can edit the url and then navigate to the dashboard whether you are logged in or not so for today's video we want to ensure that only authorized users have access to this dashboard so if you are not aware about the previous video i did the link will be in the description below as well as the link to the github repository here it is so what you can do if you want to follow along with this tutorial is to clone this repo and then run npm install then run the ngserve command in angular once you do that you'll be able to follow along with this tutorial also do not forget to set up your environmental variables from firebase both in the prod and also the environment ts file so once you do this you are set to go so with that let's get started with the implementation the first thing we're going to do is to generate a service file as well as a guard file so let me stop the server and then create a new service using the command ng generate service i'm going to call the service file alt now that the service file has been generated i'm going to head back to visual studio code and straight into the service file so what we need to do here is to create a getter function that determines if a user is logged in or not and then return a boolean that says true if the user is logged in and false if the user is not logged in so to create this function i'm going to start off by typing get and then we're going to call this function is logged in and since it's returning a boolean we're going to set up a type in typescript and then we try to assess the local storage because the way we created this application earlier once the user gets logged in it saves a user the user data in local storage so let me so what we'll try to do now is to try to get that user so i'm going to run const user is equals to json.pass and we'll type local storage item and the key is called user data now we get some sort of error here because of typescript it says argument type of string or null is not assigned to parameter of type string so to get rid of this error we can just type as string as you can see our error disappears now if you see the error on this particular function name it says a get accessor must return a value so to get rid of this error also we need to return a value and to do that we type return user and we'll be using a ternary operator to implement this and we'll say if the user is not is equals to null return true else return false so what this getter function is trying to say is if the function is able to get a user from local storage with the key user data return true that is a logged in user exists if that's not the case then it's going to return false for formality let's console log this user so the next file we need to generate is the guard file so just like we created the service but instead of using service we're going to use guard so it stands for ng generate guard and the name of the guard which we also called alt so i'm going to press enter so why this is implementing i need to import as well as inject this service in our app module.ts so quickly i head over to the app module.ts 
in the providers array paste the odd service and then i import so we have the service here let's check if our guard has been generated it asks if the type of guard we want that will be can activate i press enter and then our guard gets generated so let me save what we currently have and then i close the odd service file that's all we need to do here i head straight to the odd guard file so inside of this file we see a bunch of boiler plates code you need not worry about this as by default it is generated by angular so you don't need to memorize any of this you just have to use what you need to get what you want so the only thing we need to do here is to bring in the hot service as well as the angular router then we determine if the user is not logged in then an alert pop-up should come up and the user should get navigated to the phone number page so to do that we need to bring in two things first is this hot service and then the angular router so we need to create a constructor so i'll type in constructor public hot service and then the name of our hot service file it gets imported into this file and then our router type in public router as well as router that is also brought in into the card file up next inside of this object i'm gonna create an if statement so i'll type in if this dot odd service remember our odd service is returning a boolean and if the function is called is logged in if it's not equals to true then we want an alert pop-up to come up so i'll type in window dot alert and then i can just type in access denied low user is okay we can just type in only logged in user can access this page once the user dismisses the alert box then we want the user to get routed so i'll type in this does router dot navigate and we type in phone so the user gets routed back to the phone page but in the case that the user is properly locked in before it will return true so the next thing we need to do is also to import as well as inject this odd guard in our app module file so let's head over to the app modules file also in the providers i'm gonna in inject it in as well as try to import the odd guard as you can see we now have the odd guard so the next thing we need to do is to head over to our app routing page in our app routing page we need to determine the particular components we are trying to protect so that is the dashboard what i can do here is to type in can activate and then pass in the auth card service we just created as you can see we've imported it and as well as injected it into the dashboard component so this will prevent any form of user from navigating into the dashboards without logging in i think that's pretty much all we need to do so i'm gonna save everything we just did run the terminal with ng serve and then test it out now that our server is compiled i head straight to the browser as well as open it to the console in case we get any form of error so instead of typing in the phone number let's see if we can route directly to the dashboard as you can see we get a alert box saying access denied only logged in user can access this page once i click on ok i get routed back to the phone number page so with this implementation we can see our app is successfully protected using the can activate interface to prevent unauthorized users from logging in into the dashboard so to complete this tutorial what i can do is try to log in using the normal way so what i'll do now is to type in my phone number click on get otp and one thing you might come across is this particular error message that says auth argument error no firebase.app.app instance is currently running something like that so to get rid of this error what we need to do is to initialize 
Firebase directly in a app module file. So what I'll do is import Firebase. So I'll type in import Firebase from Firebase. And then I run Firebase dot initialize app. And then I can pass in the environment dot Firebase object. So environment dot Firebase. Then I save head back to the browser and then i paste in my phone number once again click on generate otp and then you can see that we don't get the error anymore and we get straight taken straight to the code page if i get go straight to my email address i get sent a new otp because my phone number is connected to this particular gmail address so i copy the otp that's been generated to us then i paste it in click on verify otp and then we get routed to the dashboard now as you can see this user is successfully logged in and it's an authorized user so they have access to the dashboard if i click on logout and i go to inspect i head to application i check the local storage you see we have a user data if i clear the local storage once again we no longer have a user data and we try to access the dashboard we we'll get the error from the alert box so with this i think we've come to the end of the tutorial if you have any questions please drop them in the comment section i'll be sure to answer and also make sure to like and subscribe so that the youtube algorithm can keep recommending my videos so with that i'll see you again next time